Michael, as I shared with you in the emails. And serving as co-hosts today, we have Kylie and Sophie, our education assistants. If you could give us a thumbs up or wave so we know to look out for you. And just a few Zoom logistics for this evening. Um, in the upper right-hand corner of your individual Zoom box, you'll see three dots. If you have a child that's receiving an award tonight and the student name is not listed, if you don't mind renaming um, your name to the student name so we can find the students easily for the award portion of tonight, that would be great. I think most of the students already have their names up, um, but just if you have um, the capability to do that, that would be great. And then please just keep yourself muted at all times to avoid any external noise. And when it's time to unmute, we want to give the students a chance to speak later on in the ceremony. When it's time to unmute, we'll let you know um, and we're happy to help you in any way with that. So share just a little bit with you about Black History Month. We're now in our 23rd year of partnership with Con Edison, who has sponsored this event each and every year, over 23 years, which is a very long time and, and wonderful commitment to the town hall and to the students. So this program would not be possible without Con Edison. So we want to thank them tonight. And then also to the Department of Cultural Affairs in partnership with the City Council who make this program possible year after year. On February 4th and 5th, we had over 4,800 students come to Town Hall to watch the Urban Bushwomen perform a variety of dances. The Urban Bushwomen bring diverse audiences together to share untold stories through dance and seek to use dance as a form of self-expression and a catalyst for social change. And as part of this celebration, Urban Bushwomen also held a workshop on February 6th at PS 347 in Manhattan with 15 seventh and eighth grade students. To kick off the um, celebration tonight, we have a video to show you, which really summarizes the program and the students' experience during these events. Yes, we understand there's no sound. We're going to work on fixing that. Lauren Noble. I'm the Director of Education for the Town Hall. On February 4th and 5th, Town Hall, in partnership with Con Edison, welcomed over 4,800 students from 58 schools throughout New York City to celebrate Black History Month. We are now in our 23rd year of partnership with Con Edison, who greatly sponsors this event each and every year, which celebrates African American artists in different art forms. This year, we had the Urban Bush Women who are dancers. They celebrate the untold stories of the African diaspora using dance as a catalyst for social change. The students all received study guides ahead of time so they knew who urban bushwomen are, what dances they can expect to see, some vocabulary words, and they learned also about our poster and essay contest. Another very special part of Black History Month celebration at Town Hall is we provided a workshop at PS 347 in Manhattan 
My other deep passion outside of performing is teaching. I love working with young people. So this is um, an opportunity for me to really merge both of those great loves. Um, and I'll also love that Town Hall gives us the opportunity to not just share with them, but we also get to have classes where we can facilitate with them. We sometimes get to bring them on stage. I remember being that person. I remember seeing dancers on stage and saying, wow, I want to be able to do that. Thinking about being a part of the legacy of performers who have been on that stage, town hall, like as a Black woman artist, just carrying on that lineage of self-expression and pushing the boundaries of, of what it means to be an artist of color. Um, that's definitely what feels most potent to me about it. It was a special moment for me, not only just celebrating Black history, but to have Urban Bush Women introduced to such a vast range of students in the New York City community um, was something that I feel like a lot of kids don't get to experience. And when you have those moments of joy in children that you can bring, I think it's just a really special moment. And to have it tied into Black history with the legacy and the lineage of not only our company, but also on the backs that we are on and the legacy that we continue to carry. It's really important to our students. A lot of them really love dance and they like creating their own types of dances. It's a different aspect instead of just sitting there learning about, you know, watching the videos or reading stuff about black history. They actually got to experience it and see it in a different form instead of just on a text or through video. They saw it through dancing. I learned that you could like express yourself in different ways, but this way means yes. I learned about why you was like to like. I learned that there's um, a lot of expression in dancing because like, you know, so it's an art form, so it express yourself. What does black mean? What means like knowing the people that helped like end racism, like Malcolm X and Rosa Parks. And it means like the celebration of like the end of racism and segregation. It's paved a new way for a race. So like they've been perceived as one way and now they are perceived in a new way. So um, I'm glad that the black people are seeing the whole new light so that um, they can make their way and make their mark. We want to take a moment just to thank the Urban Bush women for bringing your energy, spirit, and amazing talents to the New York City students this past February. Everyone had a really great time. Um, I'm not sure any of you are on the call today, but if you are on the call, feel free to give us a wave and a thumbs up. So thank you so much. I'd also like to thank some of our town hall staff members. Uh, please give a little wave or thumbs up um, as I say your name. I know a few of you are on the call. We have Larry, our executive director. Tom, our board president, who you'll hear from later on in the call. And Marvin, our board president emeritus. We have Helen, our director of administration, subscriptions and memberships. Jackie, our director of development. Jeff, Director of Marketing, who worked with us to produce study guides, posters, programs in the video. Alex, our Digital Media Manager, who put together the rolling video of artwork that you saw in the beginning and helps us a lot with our e-blasts. We have Barbara, our Institutional Giving Associate. Mele, Assistant Artistic Director and Archivist. Sophie and Kylie, who you have seen already, who have worked really hard in coordinating the Black History Month events and who led the poster and essay contest. Steve, our operating chief engineer, who helped scan in all of the poster and essay entries from our office to me during this shutdown. And finally, a very special acknowledgement to Brittany, who I believe is on the phone, our administrative assistant. Brittany has done so many things to make this program happen, from organizing the school's attendance ensuring everyone arrives safely for the concerts, hiring the photographer, mailing all of the student study guides. She is the reason everything ran so smoothly this year. So Brittany, please wave to us, give us a big thumbs up, um, round of applause. Thank you so much to Brittany. We'd also like to recognize the teachers who are dedicated to ensuring the students are exposed to the arts. Please wave teachers, give us a thumbs up as I say your names if you're on this call. We have Michelle from PS21 in Brooklyn. 
We have Vaughn from JHS227 in Brooklyn. And also Clara from M103 in Manhattan. Thank you again so much. I know that it has been such um, a change going to remote learning this spring and encouraging them to enter this poster and essay contest um, has been wonderful. So thank you again for all your support. And students, this is also a moment to thank your parents and guardians for all of their support and time dedicated to you both in your education and life. So parents, guardians, give us a thumbs up or wave, please. Thank you. And now on to the students. Tonight we are here to celebrate you and your beautiful visual and written artwork um, following the performances as we've seen on display throughout the evening and we'll get to see again in a minute. After the February performances, we asked you to either design a poster that illustrates your own marching band or to write an essay based on the various topics presented to you. We received over 60 entries and we selected the six students we see here tonight. All of the winners will have their posters and essays put up on our town hall website. And when it is safe for us to do so, we will have your artwork um, professionally framed and returned back to you. So I'm now going to pass the microphone over to Kylie, who will begin the awards portion of the ceremony. Thank you, Lauren. So we're going to begin with Mikhail Workman, a third grade student at PS21 in Brooklyn. Uh, Makaya's entry, as you can see, included renowned African-American women on various instruments such as guitar, piano, drums, and banjo. The details of the individual instruments are especially impressive. We love your creativity and the lyrics you wrote next to some of the band members. Uh, we have a certificate documenting your success, which your family received via email, and you also have a $50 check in the mail coming your way. Uh, Makaya, would you like to unmute yourself and take a moment to share with everyone the inspiration behind your piece? Um, hello, my name is Makaya. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Makaya. It's okay. And, um, um, and, I, and I'll just like to say, I create I create this for for a reason because it, on the bottom I I wrote it I I drew a picture of what they would use back in the day to make jazz or music and then on top I drew what they use now to make music. Love it. So creative. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, thank you Makaya and congratulations. <laughs> Uh, next, <laughs> uh, we have eighth grade student Anthony Chi from JHS 227 in Brooklyn. Anthony's entry is an amazing response to one of, the, one of the dances that Urban Bushwoman performed. You can tell from the drawing the in depth emotions of the women in the pictures. The colors are extraordinary, and it is clear that Anthony put a lot of time and work into this drawing. Uh, so Anthony, here is your certificate documenting your success, which your family received via email. And you also have a $50 check in the mail coming your way. So thank you so much, Anthony. We loved it and congratulations. Uh, next up, we have Gloria Giselle Wade, a fifth grade student at PS21 in Brooklyn, who wrote an essay about how she was surprised that there was minimal music during the Urban Bushwoman performance and that the costumes weren't frilly, but instead, the costumes, the dancers were in everyday clothes. She also liked that the audience was able to participate and mentions that her favorite dance piece was Give Your Hands to the Struggle because it honors the different African Americans who made contributions to our lives. So here's your certificate documenting your success, which your family received via email, and you have a $50 check coming your way. Uh, Gloria Gizel, would you like to unmute yourself and take a moment to share the inspiration behind creating your essay? So, so I meant to wrote like the the definitions or like the backgrounds of the different dance pieces. So like I would like to thank for I would like to thank myself for the opportunity. 
to write this essay and to be able to go to the performance. Cause I see like I see like I see like I noticed that like not that many people know about like the black lives. Like there was a lot of names said. For example, like Trayvon Martin. Not that many people know who he is. And not that many people know his story. So like when they said his name, they was praising him. And that were like, that touched me. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your thoughtfulness and for submitting your essay. We really enjoyed it. So congratulations. And now I'm gonna pass over the microphone to Sophie who will present the three remaining awards. Thank you so much, Kylie. Um, so Raphael Chang is a fifth grader from M103 in Manhattan um, and several different instruments from a band are represented in this beautiful picture with um, bright colors that really catch the viewer's eye. Um, and the hat colors are all coordinated and so it looks like the band is having uh, such an excellent uh, and fun time. So really, really wonderful work, Raphael. And here's your certificate, uh, which documents your success, which your family also received via email. Uh, and you also have a $50 check in the mail coming your way. Uh, Raphael, would you like to unmute yourself and take a moment to share uh, with everybody the inspiration behind creating your poster? Well, um, I, one of the reasons that I, well, behind the instruments really is, it's, um, I have to think, thank my dad for that because he, his job, he has a job at Lincoln Center and because he has a job at Lincoln Center, I draw a lot of instruments for his coworkers. So that's, and, and I've seen a lot cause he's brought me backstage and stuff. So, so yeah, he, he inspired me a lot. And then, um, just like, uh, my school is very diverse community. So lots of skin color and stuff. I didn't really, Prepare this speech. <laughs> um, this is it's wonderful to hear from you. Um, and and also um, I I take uh I've taken summer drawing classes, which can which enhanced my detail, I guess, and. Uh, that that's all I have to say, basically. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that and for sharing your work with us. And congratulations. Uh, Kelvin Deng is an eighth grade student uh, at JHS 227 in Brooklyn. Um, and we here have presented a wonderful drawing of a marching band. And you can clearly see that careful thought was put into this entry, especially in the marching band uniforms and in their instruments. And there's a variety of instruments represented in the band and we love the added detail of the audience in the background. Um, and then adding in the conductor at the front of the band is an especially great touch to the artwork. Uh, so here's your certificate documenting your success, which your family also received via email. Um, and you also have a $50 check in the mail coming your way. Uh, so, Calvin, would you uh, like to unmute yourself and take a moment just to share with everyone the inspiration behind creating your poster? With pleasure. So, um, I um, started this art. Um, to, it blew my mind. Uh, it's very creative. Uh, my thoughts always um, was always creative. I um, I usually think to um, to to uh, uh, to draw. I like my thoughts. Um, I use my like thoughts to draw, um, like to think and think perfectly. Um, before to like to to draw or make a perfect um art. 
and I, well, I, I don't have much to say. Um, this is that, like, um, that, um, um it's, uh, I don't know. What? I, well, yeah, I don't know much to say. I can't prepare my speech. It was wonderful to hear from you just now. I think that was wonderful. And thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us and your artwork with us. Um, it looks like Lauren's internet might have cut out. So we've lost her. So I'm just gonna really quickly pull up um, the PowerPoint from where we are and then we'll keep going in just a second. So bear with us. All right. So can everybody, let's see, I hope this works. Can everybody see my screen? Is this working? Okay, great. Wonderful. Um, oops, sorry. All right, everybody. I'm also a little bit Zoom uh, technologically challenged. Okay, um, great. So here we go. Finally, um, we have Jalen Sloan, who is a fifth grade student at PS21 in Brooklyn. And Jalen wrote about seeing dances in many places from parties, festivals, to concerts and recitals, to dancing at home uh, in the streets, or on the trains, or at church. Uh, and Jalen also learned from the performances with Urban Bushwomen that there are many different emotions from dance uh, and that dance movements are gestures. So for example, when Jalen sees a dancer smiling, uh, that depicts happiness. Um, so here is your certificate, um, which was also uh, just emailed to your family. And you also have a $50 check coming in the mail for you too. So Jalen, would you like to unmute yourself um, and share a little bit about your uh, inspiration behind your work? First, I want to say thank you to the Town Hall Foundation for allowing me to uh, for for allowing for allowing me to be a part of the Black History Month poster and essay contest, and I and I just and I I wrote this because. Because the way the way the dancers were like were like da were like dancing, it showed it showed how like how like back in the day the black people were feeling and how they were like oper operating operating <laughs> and yeah. That is fine. So thank you. That inspired me. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing what inspired you and for sharing your work with us. Um, so I'm now going to pass the microphone along to Tom, who is our board president at Town Hall, um, and he's going to wrap up the ceremony this evening. Hi, everybody. Um, first of all, thank you. Uh, you guys have some great talent out there, and I hope you use it wisely. Um, <clears throat> the world has changed since February when you came to visit Town Hall. Uh, but I hope you, that you use your insights and your talents to tell the world how you feel and what's going on. You've done a great job so far. But I also would like to thank all the teachers that stood with you to help you. I, I learned late in life that, the, uh, that homework is not for the teacher. The teacher actually already knows the answer. So I hope you guys all worked very, very hard on figuring out your own answers and doing your own homework. Because the more you know, the more you can help yourselves and everybody around you. And I'd also like to thank the parents because uh, you've got some talented kids and I really hope that you help them harness all their creativity and their insight. Um, Town Hall has been producing shows, having people on the stage for almost 100 years. And I hope that some of you guys get a chance to come and perform just like you saw people 
back in February. So on behalf of everybody at Town Hall, we congratulate you. You guys are all winners. Keep up the great work and uh, thank you. And uh, Lauren, I'll just uh, turn it back to you to say goodbye and thank you and Kylie and Sophie and everybody, Brittany and everybody at Town Hall for a wonderful program and uh, good luck in school this fall. Thank you so much, Tom. Um, thank you so much too. Uh, there's a huge storm. I don't know if you all can hear it, but I lost service there. So thank you, Sophie, for taking over the PowerPoint while that happened. Um, but I wanna just wish everyone a very safe, healthy, happy summer. Congratulations again to all of the work that you've done. And we look forward to welcoming you back to the hall when we are open and it is safe to do so. So thank you so much again, everyone. Enjoy your summer. Thank you, Town Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Jay. Congratulations, Raphael. Congratulations, Michaela, Gigi. Congratulations, everyone who They're all beautiful. won Congratulations. and pieces. Congratulations, worked. Congratulations, Raphael. Michaela. Michaela hung up. I think so. I think. Uh, no, uh, I'm still here. Hello to you and thank you. Oh, there you are, Michaela. <laughs> Miss Holston, how are you? <laughs> Good. Congratulations, Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, everybody. Yep. Good job. Thank you, Tom Hall, for everything. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you to everyone for um, inviting us. Uh, being, giving us all the reminders and just for all the great work that you've been doing. Thank you. Deborah and thank you, Town Hall. Yeah. Thank you, Town Hall. <laughs> thank you. Bye. 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 Have a Thank great you. summer. Bye. 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 They, they. No, no, no. they will have leave out. All right, I'm going to um, just end the meeting for everyone, but thanks so much. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. Thank you. Settings.